Yeah. So it. being, you know, being the writer is what, you know, they have writing camps all the time. I came down to Nashville, but you'd have a writing camp like in Miami or in even in France. They have writing camps in France in this castle owned by Miles Copeland, the guy that oh. manages Sting and REM and yeah, Stuart, and, Stuart Copeland's brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he bought a castle and amortizes it by having all these writer retreats and all these writers would go with artists and you know you'd be at the castle and it would be you know ted nugent and carol king and olivia newton john and uh hansen and uh, you know just uh, the bangles the go-go's they would all at different times i went to about six of them and so every time it was very exciting who you were going to meet yeah. But every one of those people that I met, I wrote with Carol King. And uh, six months later, she called me up and said, I'm going on tour. Come and play with me. Because we had a good time and we wrote well and we sang well together. So next thing I know, I'm touring the world with Carol King. And, uh, and that was where I met uh, Mark Hudson, who was producing Ringo. And he called me up and said, I'm working on an album with Ringo. Come and help me write the songs. So I've been working with Ringo for 20 years. And uh, all because of the songwriting. You get called up and, you know, if you're a good hang and you can play a bunch of instruments and sing harmonies, you're a commodity. It, it, 